Well, Senator Marco Rubio pushing a new immigration bill on all the Sunday morning talk shows. The Florida Republican is part of that gang of eight we've been telling you about that is tasked with creating a new legislation. Uh, Rubio driving home his point that this new bill, according to him, is not amnesty. They don't qualify for any federal benefits. This is an important point. No federal benefits, no food stamps, no welfare, no Obamacare. They have to prove that they're gainfully employed. They have to, they have to be able to support themselves so they'll never become a public charge. Uh, the, these are all the things they're going to have to do just to keep that status. And the only thing that happens is that they will have to stay in that status until at least 10 years elapses and the triggers are met. All that has to happen. And then the only thing they get is the chance to apply for a green card via the legal immigration system. Them. We do not award anything to anyone. Joining us now for a fair and balanced debate, Ford O'Connell, chairman of the Civic Forum PAC and former outreach director for John McCain for president, and Ellen Ratner, bureau chief of Talk Radio News Services and a Fox News contributor. Thank you both for joining Thank us. You. Good to see you, Heather. So let's just jump right in on the issue of amnesty. Now, according to Rubio, he says that amnesty is the forgiveness of something without penalty. And you heard him uh, just there talking about the, the long list of qualifications that would have to go along with this. So, Ford, do you think that this plan is amnesty? No, I don't think this plan is amnesty. In fact, I think our current immigration system is amnesty because essentially we have 11 million people running around the countryside with no real fear of deportation and in some cases eligible for benefits. We have to modernize and strengthen our immigration system. And frankly, Senator Rubio is absolutely right. But I will say this, if the immigration bill is to get through, the quickest thing he can do is make sure the conservative base does not torpedo this by calling it amnesty. So. Kudos to Senator Rubio this morning. And Ellen, the same question to you. You know, according to your definition or your understanding of amnesty, do you think that this plan, as we understand it and as elements have been leaked and hearing Senator Rubio there, do you think that it's amnesty? No, it's clearly not amnesty. I mean, I am much more farther left on this issue and believe that we should give people a more chance, particularly because many of these people, even if it's underground, are paying taxes. And I'm talking about Social Security and other kinds of taxes, often doing it under a different Social Security number. Now, uh, everyone agrees that something does need to be done about the you know, immigration into this country. And we have a poll here. This is from the Wall Street Journal, I believe, um, in terms of a pathway to citizenship. And with this poll, 64% uh, favor some sort of pathway to citizenship. We have 11 million illegal immigrants here right now. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Ford, do you think that this plan will get bipartisan support? <laughs> right now, I, I'd argue that the chance of it getting bipartisan support are between 35 and 40 percent. And the reason is we don't know what the final legislation looks like. My advice is the following. Let it go through every committee hearing. Let's get it out in the public, because I do think that both parties will get behind it, because the key is the right balance between border security the visas, and then the pathway to citizenship. A lot of folks may tell us that they're all for a pathway to citizenship, but in fact, a lot of people really don't know what the current immigration laws are. So let's get it out there, and I think it can get through. And Ellen, uh, you know, Rubio says that border security is still a trigger for citizenship. How do you feel about that? You know, I, I mean, I have a very different view of border security. I wish that the Americas, uh, particularly North uh, America, Canada and Mexico, would have a freer system where we could actually go there and start businesses and vice versa, uh, but, uh, but I realize I'm on the far edge there. And uh, so I think that, look, border security is a questionable issue because we haven't been able to do it. I mean, we've put billions on our border security. It hasn't happened. So I think maybe we have to look at another option. And Ford, he's saying that, you know, as part of this plan, uh, Senator Rubio says that a 90 percent apprehension rate within the, ni the next five years is the trigger. And it's the Department of Homeland Security that will have five years to meet that goal. Do you think they I can think do it? I hope they can do it. We need to do it. Look, I've been for immigration reform long before it was fashionable for Democrats, let alone Republicans, to support this. Having grown up on the Texas-Mexican border, I can tell you the key here is striking the right balance between border security, the visas, and the pathway to citizenship, because at the end of the day, this is not a Republican problem. This is not a Democratic problem. This is an American problem that needs to be modernized and strengthened. All right, Ellen, I want to move on to talk about you know, Senator Rubio and his political aspirations. Ah. 
yeah. in the future. And and what do you think this will do for him? Be it you know a run in 2016. Ooh. You know they were saying he really is all in on this. He wasn't just on one Sunday morning talk show, not two. He was in fact Look, on seven. I know his people are already starting to look for staff members. So he's clearly running for president. <laughs> There's no question. I know people they've already talked to. So really, that, you, they, uh, you, Ellen, did they talk to oh, you? Uh, I, I'm the last person they want on their team. But um, so so that's happening. So now the issue is we know that the Republicans got hit on women's issue, Hispanic issues, gays issue. Those are the three uh, blocks of people that they need uh, to somehow bring into their big tent. This is his attempt to do something to show he is bringing them into the tent. We'll see if it's successful. What do you think, Ford? Well, I, I absolutely agree. He is preparing for a 2016 run. A little birdie told me that his offices are somewhere down around the Biltmore. That said, though, uh, it, it, this could hurt him in the uh, Republican primary, but he's lucky right now because the other first-tier possible candidates, Ryan, Bush, Christie, they're all, Rand Paul, they're all for immigration reform. I do think it's going to hurt him in, in the primary, but I think it could make him a much more attractive general election candidate. And Ellen is absolutely right. The three groups we got to figure out on the Republican side of the aisle is Hispanics, unmarried women, and younger voters. And if we can get through that, even with Hillary Clinton on the other side, we could possibly pull out the White House in 2016. All right. We will be talking about it uh, between now and then several more times. Ford O'Connor, Ellen know. Ratner, thank, <laughs> thank you both you. for joining us. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. And you, by the way, can see the entire interview with Senator Rubio on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. It airs at 6 p.m. Eastern right here on Fox News.